Hey, it's retired comedy legend, Lisa Lampanelli. I just had an hour long conversation with Kara. It went deep and honey, if you know me, you know, I like nothing more than talking about myself. That's my dog, by the way, he makes a special appearance. So you're welcome. Hey, this is Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where you really get to know your favorite celebrities on a totally different level because I was a therapist and that's how I roll. Right now, you're going to get to know Lisa Lampanelli. Here we go. All right, so let's do our quickies. What do you think? Sure. All right, so if you could choose two celebrities to be your parents, who would you pick? <gasps> parents? Their roles on TV? Either or. Their or. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. My mother would be June from The Handmaid's Tale because she'd never give up trying to find me. And if you don't watch The Handmaid's Tale, people listening, you have to, even though it's difficult to watch, it's worth it. Um, she just will not let that daughter go. I mean, she had a chance to escape and she never did. I love that. Um, my dad, it would probably be... <sighs> I don't know why, but Henry Mitchell, I, I'm getting teared up just saying this. And I don't know why, because I watched that stupid, and I'm saying stupid because I don't mean it, but I watch Antenna TV in the morning. It's all those old ass sitcoms, 50s, 60s, 70s. And there's something about Dennis the Menace's father that is so just humble, kind. He's not the main focus of the show, but he's like, really kind, sticks up for the sun. You know, the whole show is about Mr. Wilson and Dennis. You're not old enough to remember, but some listeners might be. And he's just kind, compassionate, old school gentleman. And I'm like, oh, for some reason that hits me. By the way, if you ever want to have peace, watch Antenna TV in the morning. Hazel and freaking Dennis the Menace, best shows ever. It's just okay. old fashioned and cute. I think it's obvious that you're it's hitting a nerve. What is of the course. nerve it's hitting? You tell me. Probably Let's that analyze my, you. Probably because that was my dad. And I didn't have to like even create one because I had him. You know? So and, and it's I interesting think that's that you cool. you picked you picked two parents who would, you know, do anything for you. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. I'm not going to pick ones that ignored me. That's for sure. I'm going to pick the ones who would be like, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, totally. All right. So those are characters. I'm going to ask you the same question, but for actual celebrities. So now it has to be a real person, not a made up person on TV. Who would you pick for well, parents? I think the problem is we don't know them. And I think that's a, it's a unfortunately flawed question because we don't know them. And I don't think I would pick celebrity for parents. I think I would be uh, a difficult question answer right now and be like, I don't know any of them well enough to say I'd want them as a parent, you know? Um, isn't it funny though, how, I, and you know what, what's interesting about it though? It would probably be somebody millennial because I think we know millennials from their podcasts a lot better than we know celebrities who are adults. So for instance, my niece has a podcast that is enormous. It has over a hundred million downloads. I won't even mention it because it's so fucking big. It's called, and that's why we drink. I just mentioned it, but they're huge. And it was a complete accident that it became huge. She's so open on that show. And that's why it's so enormous because she talks about her struggles, getting pregnant, three miscarriages. They're having a baby this September. Thank God. And, um, we know millennials better because they show themselves. So I would probably have to research podcasting of people under 30 and those would probably be my parents because at least we know who the F they are. I don't think we could believe everything we see about celebrities, obviously, or maybe anything. Right. Or again, if they go on a podcast where they get to the real person, I'm going to plug my person. own show, then you do yeah. actually get to know them a little 100%. bit better in real life. So yeah. it's all about podcasts, right? That's the bottom line. I, I honestly think you're right because talk shows is motivated by see my movie, download my um, whatever it is, yeah. my, my stream or do with a, who the hell knows. But I'll tell you, who I wouldn't want as parents, anyone who is 
so insane, and I don't mean that in a clinical sense, but so insanely driven that they need to fly to space in their own rocket. <laughs> how much do you hate yourself and how much did your parents ignore you? I'm sorry, but that's mental because you go to yourself, do you really need that? Do you really? Like, that's crazy. Like so much of achievement and those quote unquote, like celebrities who are famous and is driven from lack that I was just like, oh, please keep them as far away from me as possible. Although I do okay. like Amazon. I'm just saying I love Amazon. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. Right. Okay. <laughs> Amazon helps support the show too, because I have an Amazon storefront as an Amazon influencer, oh. as they say. So let's plug Amazon. No, dude. Uh-oh. See, you're right. Because get that. Guess why my dog's barking? Because Amazon is literally at the front door. Oh, there is something about, and I guess we all needed it in COVID and I don't cease to need it. And if it's the one thing I do is to buy stuff from Amazon that I don't need, I guess that's my addiction. Hold on. Can I yell at my dog one second? Do you mind? Parker, Parker, Parker. Parker, leave him alone. It's a bathing suit. See, here's how I feel. I feel if you are too timid, even after losing 100 pounds, to go to shop for bathing suits in a store, Amazon will bring them to you. I'm, I have no problem with that. <laughs> but what's, what's going to happen when you try it on? How do you know if it's going to look okay or not? You have no and idea. I tell you, you order 15 and then return all of them the next day, yeah, except yeah. the one that fits. And I just find it less painful because I still have so much body crap that I'm like, you know what? I could just do it at home. And also you pick the mood, the time when you're really feeling, okay, I can handle this. Right. And I'm like, oh, wow, I could handle that. I, totally. Last week I ordered, I ordered two because I'm smart enough now to be able to whittle it down to two styles. And one of them out of two was amazing. And I'm never thinking it looks amazing. And I'm like, okay, I kept one and ordered a second one of that and returned the other one. But always people do your returns. Come on, stop it. Don't let them sit in the bag at home. That's wasteful. <laughs> totally. By the way, I'm the return queen. But so from now on, when you buy your, your bathing suits at Amazon, you have to buy them at amazon.com slash shop slash really famous. There you go. The Buy it from her. Do it. Do it. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think we're good. I think this is great. Aww. We have enough. We don't have to do any more sillies. I think the silly questions. I think we are good. We have a good episode. You're the best, dude. You're really cool, man. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. I appreciate it. I knew you were going to be good and real and yourself and open. And I appreciate that in you. Wait, Lisa divulges a lot more about her personal life in part two. Make sure you're subscribed to Really Famous, tap the subscribe button, and then tap the notifications bell, and you'll be notified as soon as it's ready. I usually drop new interviews with celebrities three times a week now, so stay tuned. It's usually Fridays, Sundays, and Tuesdays. If you like this video, please tap the like button and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think about our talk, about Lisa, about me, about Really Famous, who you'd like to see on Really Famous. Whatever, drop a comment, I do read them. I'm Kara, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, this is great. And could I do one last final plug? Yeah. For my podcast, it's called Losers with a Dream, which by the way, that is something I used to say in, on the roasts to different people, but enough about these losers with the dream, because um, you know we're a bunch of losers on the show who just, we have a dream. My dream is obviously to just have peace. Theirs is to do whatever straight guys need to do, but it is very unique in that it's two straight guys really talking about feelings. And I think there needs to be more of that because men are taught not to feel and it's terrible. It should not be that way. And I'm on it every week. So go to Spotify or, whatever the hell people get podcasts from. I don't even know, dude. Like, just find the podcast. Okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> if they're listening to this, they know how to find a podcast. So it's all good. Oh, yeah. If God, you're smart. <laughs>